friends, Laura here with your daily mindful movement. And I have some guest stars. I have Sarah Nacho and Liz Squish, who just went off camera there. Um, go ahead and find a comfortable spot where you have some room on the floor. You can use a yoga mat, a blanket, a towel, doesn't really matter. And we're gonna go ahead and find our way onto all fours. Hands approximately underneath your shoulders. Knees approximately underneath your hips. Lift your tailbone and let this movement trickle up your spine until you lift and broaden across your chest. Then tuck your tailbone and let this movement again go up your spine one vertebrae at a time. Rounding your back and pressing into your hands. Let's do that again, but invite our breath to go at the same time. Inhaling to lift. Broadening across your chest. Exhaling to tuck and round. And keep going a couple more times at your own pace. If you have any trouble with your wrists or arthritis in your hands, you can always make fists if that feels more supportive. And this is about noticing what you feel and where you feel it. So while we do traditionally inhale on the opening and exhale on the rounding, feel free to stay for a couple breaths somewhere. Or switch the breath if that feels better for you. Let's make some nice big circles with these hips. Send them to the side, back, other side, and all the way around, shifting your weight. And as you reach back through your hips, create a little bit more space from your hips to your rib cage. So breathing into that side body. Almost like you're getting a little longer in your torso. And when you feel like it, go ahead and switch your direction. And it's okay if your circles are not circular. <laughs> it's okay if one side feels different than the other or has a different amount of range of motion. Simply noticing what you feel. And the next time you exhale, take your knees even wider, sink your hips back to your heels, and then walk your hands forward away from your hips. And take a deep breath here. And feel that space along your side body. My shoulders feel really tight here. I like to take my hands even wider apart. That gives me a little bit more room in my shoulders and chest. And then I also like to spin my biceps, so like the inner part of your upper arms towards the sky. Because that feels really nice through my upper back. And this is your practice space where you can choose any variation you like. And one more breath here. Walk those hands over to one side. And as you press into your hands, reach back through your hips. And make sure both shoulders stay squared to the floor. That's going to help you get that stretch up the long side of your body. And we'll 
we'll dance these hands over to the other side. Sink our weight into the opposite hip, square the chest down to the floor. And we'll take some nice deep breaths here. Come back to center, slide forward onto your tummy, do the worm. Ah. <laughs> That's the sound the worm in my head makes. Elbows underneath your shoulders or a little further forward. So if it causes too much compression in your low back, take your hands further away from your body. Now arms are straight like they're on train tracks, not coming in or out. Spread the fingers nice and wide. Let your palms softly rest into the floor. And then move your attention to your hips. Let them wiggle out from here. Let your belly soften and let the front of those hip bones relax into the floor. Send your breath into your belly and your low back. You're welcome to hang out here, nice and soft. If you want a little more oomph, with those fingers spread wide, you're going to press down into your elbows to lift a little higher, and then drag the floor towards you. So fingers press down, and I'm pulling the floor towards me, simultaneously pulling my heart forward. You might notice a little bit of strain in your shoulders or your jaw here. Adjust however you need to so that your shoulders aren't glued to your ears. What a great way to hold stress. And one more breath. And we'll move on up. All right, slide your hands alongside your body. Press out, we'll sit back onto our heels for a moment, letting that low back return to neutral. <laughs> I hope that the camera's picking that up. My, my little dog Squishy is singing to you. Okay. Coming back into child's pose, so knees nice and wide again, stretch your arms forward. You're gonna keep one arm forward, let's say your right arm, and we'll slide that left arm under and across, taking the left shoulder, maybe even the left ear to the floor. And then once you're down here, if there's room, walk your straight arm a little further away, that right arm. Send your breath into the space surrounding your shoulder blade. Last breath here. And unraveling back to center. Let's lengthen our torso, lengthen the arms, and then go ahead, find your way to the other side. Last breath here. And then gently come back to center. Thanks for joining me for some mindful movement today. Um, if you are new to the practice or if you're feeling a little bummy today, 
say is be kind to yourself. Don't worry about getting it right or getting it perfect. Just do what feels okay in your body. Uh, my name is Laura again. You can find me on YouTube or on Instagram under Potentialize Me Yoga. Namaste.